So to quickly introduce the LED, I made this little circuit. So these LEDs are wired the same as far as the uh, resistor and the jumper are concerned, except for uh, I turned them in opposite directions. So now you can see only the front LED lights up when I have the positive side on the far end of the resistor. So now I'm going to put the negative side of the battery on the far end of the resistor. Now you see only the farther LED lights up. That's because LEDs are diodes. They're semiconductors. And diodes only conduct electricity in one direction easily. They oppose electricity in the other direction for the most part. So here I have a larger LED so it's easier to see. But you can see one lead is longer than the other. That's how this came. When uh, they make them they usually make the longer lead. This is called the anode. When this is towards the more positive side of the circuit and then the shorter lead here which is called the cathode if this is towards the more negative side of the circuit then it will conduct. Then it is forward biased. That's a good uh, term to know when people talk about LEDs and diodes they talk about forward biased and reversed bias. Forward biased is positive here, negative here, conducts easily. Now if you flip it backwards, if you put positive towards the cathode and then negative to the anode then it doesn't conduct easily. It becomes a really good insulator. Now not only do they come with a longer lead and a shorter lead, many LEDs have a flat edge on the cathode side. Unfortunately this one does not and my other LEDs that do have the flat edge are too small to be seen on the camera. But uh, if you see a flat edge then you can be pretty sure it's a cathode and if somebody trims the leads for whatever reason they cut them. That may be the main way to see but you can also test it. There's other ways.